Nancy is a, a, a photographer, a visionary, a community advocate, forever evolving, and a workout workoutaholic. She makes people that are fit look fat. Thank you. But showing us how we can change the way we live and live life inside out. Nancy Thomas. All right. Erratic, please. Just whatever. That's, that's my life. So, so, all right. So those of you who don't know me, I am a shy, introverted, socially awkward, nonconformist, college dropout, and a gypsy soul who calls the road my home and is bound by no rules to life. Now some of you are confused because you don't know that person at all. Basically, I have been able to unlock some doors in my life that have allowed me to design who I am and therefore how you see me. I am an artist, a dreamer, a community advocate, an entrepreneur whose passions have pursued me, or have driven me rather, to pursue aspirations beyond my wildest dreams. So for the last eight years, I have been running a photography and design studio. I've also become actively involved in my community and serving on the board for local advocacy. And as if I didn't have enough on my plate, founded a nonprofit for children's art programs. So as I'm pushing my way through 100 hour work weeks, where am I possibly going to find the time to eat, sleep, work out, or take care of me? I was basically falling apart on the inside, but nobody could see that, so therefore nobody believed it. So I'd like to share with you tonight how I've been able to define my life with one word and how that one word has defined my journey. Freedom is my word that has guided me since I'm 18 years old, when I hopped on a Greyhound bus from New York to Colorado right after graduation. And essentially, my inner spirit defines freedom as living your truth and just doing whatever it is that makes you feel alive. Many people think that doors of opportunity are external things or people, when essentially the most important doors that we need to unlock are within ourselves, okay? I didn't really have a real set of like, traditional goals or rules that I was following in my life. So I'd like to share with you some wisdom keys that have followed me that have unlocked some doors in my life that I didn't even know existed. Wisdom key number one, the problem that infuriates you the most is the problem you were assigned to solve. Now when I first heard that, it resonated me, but let's be honest, at 19, everything infuriated me. So I had quite yet to figure out what that meant. I didn't really have a whole lot of guidance or anybody to really influence me. So I was just kind of getting in line and following society's definition of responsibility. Now because I didn't have anyone really telling me what I had to do, I also didn't have anybody telling me what I couldn't do. So I just naturally believed that I could do just about anything. Well, maybe not anything. My college days took me from falling asleep in physics class as an aerospace engineering major to an art photography major because I so desperately needed a creative outlet to wake up my soul. At the age of 20, when I was introduced to the entrepreneurial world, I quickly grasped the concept that I could not only design my own life but make up my own rules. So the camera just became my tool to communicate with people and to share my vision. And with four cross-country trips under my belt, essentially the road became my path to self-discovery. So wisdom key number two. If you don't ask questions, the answer will always be no. So what that means for me is that if you have a passion within you that needs to be unlocked and you never ask for the key, you will never uncover your purpose. It is not an asking that is the issue, it's the approach. And when you can create win-win situations and share your true intent, people will not only hand you the key, they will say, how can I help and jump in the trenches with you? But how do you know which door to unlock? Wisdom key number three. You do not choose your passion, your passion chooses you. When opportunity knocks, I literally drop everything to the point of throwing all my stuff in storage and dropping out of college. So who does that? A visionary, someone who will worry about the how as they go along. I believe that Comfort zones prevent people from achieving their dreams. I can honestly say that I am the most uncomfortable I have ever been in my life. And I can stand up here and complain about all of the crappy circumstances and the people who have let me down and all the failures that are creating sinkholes in my life. But instead, 
I am actually experiencing some of the highest levels of joy and personal success each and every day that I choose to walk with purpose and touch the lives of those around me. Wisdom key number four, people will never care how much you know until they know how much you care. So after years of authentic living, I was falling off track and going down a path of sickness and depression. And my doctor's solution was a psychiatrist and prescription drugs. And that's when I had to walk away and reevaluate my life and get away from all the noise so that I could hear my inner voice and know I don't need a psychiatrist. I just needed to nourish my mind, body, and spirit again. So with the same passion that I used to aspire towards business, I am now using to aspire people with life balance solutions so that I can continue to do what I love, which is to serve others while at the same time serving myself. So now I am no longer defined by one word, but a slogan, define it, live it, share it. And so I ask you, how can you sum up your vision of self in one word or slogan in order for me to truly inspire you to live from the inside out, I challenge you to be a visionary. Now you may resonate with someone else's vision, but if it doesn't come from within you, from your core, and you don't give birth to it, it will never provide you with enough passion and fuel that you can wake up every single day and live it. If you do not get so excited by your slogan or passion that you don't tattoo it on your body, or in my case, bracelets for the serial passioneer, then maybe you need to reevaluate your it. So I leave you with one final thought, and I cannot tell you how to live your life, but just take this as a suggestion. Live your life passionately, live it with purpose, make a difference, be awesome, be healthy, and most of all, use new ventures as a part of your everyday life solutions so that you can change your perspective of those sinkholes. Thank you.